Hey, how's it going? This large statue is outside the Siloam MRT station in the entrance to Lumpini Park. I am going to walk just a short distance right there. You can see the BTS train, the overhead. It's leaving the Saladang BTS station. That's where I'm heading tonight. That's the Patpong Night Market and the oldest red light area in Bangkok. It also has, I don't know what the official name of the street is, right next to Pat Pong. It's, it's kind of the gay nightlife area. There's plenty of ladyboy reviews and uh, just different interesting clubs. And a few streets from that, if I'm going to pronounce it right, is Soi Tania, which is Little Tokyo or Little Japan. It's just a street of Japanese karaoke clubs and, and bars. So let's go take a look. And that's Siloam, the easiest way to navigate these crazy streets is to use the train station so I'm gonna go in the underground again it's a bit of a walk because I'm, I'm walking under all this uh, busy traffic and we'll pop out over on the other side of the street and then if memory serves there's a sky bridge you can use any of these train stations the MRT BTS to get to the other side of the street without paying to uh, get on the actual train and depending on uh, where you're from in the world. I know some of these train stations can be scary places. Uh, Sao Paulo at one in the morning, that's not really a, a place I'm uh, too anxious to be, but any of these train stations in Bangkok, they're, they're clean, they're safe. Don't even worry about it. The train runs till midnight. I would have no problem putting my sister on the train at uh, 11.55 at night by herself, not an issue. Now this train station is a little tricky just ask if you're confused. It kind of guides you into where you'd have to pay. So you think you might have to pay and then pay again at the other end of the train station. And I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's a 30 baht charge. But just go over here and walk behind the ticket booth right where that guy is uh, coming from. And that's free. So there's always going to be a way to cross the street for free. Here they're talking about the MRT card. I don't have one. I use the BTS and I have the rabbit card. But what's nice about the MRT system is you can buzz in with a Visa or a MasterCard as long as it has a contactless symbol. So there's really not a need for the card. In my case, anyhow. I hope the BTS accepts that contactless buzz in and out at some point. My travel credit cards get whatever they whatever they earn, three or four times the points for travel. And I seem to be throwing a thousand baht on that rabbit card often, especially when I lived up in on Newt. You can see they say Visa. That brings up an interesting point. I think, I think, I used my MasterCard. I would guess an American Express or Discover card would not work. I'm going to guess that's probably more an advertising campaign that Visa paid for. I see Visa everywhere. And here's a sign saying no durian allowed. Now this is the obvious, it's a ticket window. That's where you're going to want to go for a one-way ticket or to break a large bill. Somewhere over here, yeah, over there up against the wall are the machines. That's when you have uh, smaller bills. I don't know if you were to stick a 500 in there, if it's going to shoot back a bunch of coins. Just go to the uh, ticket office to break those bills. It's all clearly marked in Thai and English. It says exit two to Siloam Road and the BTS Saladang, which is on Siloam. And here's a map of the BTS and MRT trains. You can see Bangkok has a nice uh, mass rapid transit system. There you go. We crossed under busy Siloam. This is it. And we want to get up onto the uh, skywalk. Folks have asked me about uh, escalators and, and elevators, lifts. Bangkok's did a pretty good job of improving all these train stations. I want to say, ooh, was it 2014? I had just had a knee operation and had a bunch of time off from work. I'm a, I was a mailman back in the day. So a good idea, three or four days after a, a knee operation, it was just a scope, and my doctor signed off on, yeah, go ahead. I think you're good, blood clot-wise. So I came over here to do a little recuperation, but I had never really had a need to avoid stairs and it was kind of tricky back in the day when the BTS went between Mochit and on Newt. They've since added these different lifts. You can tell they were a bit of an afterthought, but at least they are there today. You might have to avoid 
three or four sets of stairs to find the lift, but there'll be a lift to get you up to the train at some point. And there's the Thai Japanese bridge. Once again, for folks that are concerned, they don't speak English in Thailand. All these signs are in English and Thai. And I didn't mean to say it that way. I guess if you're interested in if all the signs are going to be in Thai, that's just not the case. It's not super close from Siloam MRT to Saladang. Maybe a six minute walk. And I never noticed this place, the Siloam Edge uh, Barcade. Looks like a ton of arcade games in there. Most of the Burger Kings around town are 24 hour. And there you go, that wasn't a bad walk at all, probably less than five minutes. I'm at the Saladang train, but I'm gonna head over here to the right, and I don't know if I'm saying it correct. It's either Soy Tania or, or Soy Tanea, which is that uh, little Tokyo. There's all kinds of uh, areas around town. Of course, Thailand has an incredible Chinatown over in the Nana area. Soy 3 slash 1 and Soy 5. That's Little Arabia. Some amazing food. We're just heading under the uh, skywalk now to Siloam. And walk in the direction of the Papong Night Market. And here it is, the Tenia Walking Street. Now I have to be a little careful with the phone. Many of these, we'll call them hostess bars, karaoke bars, whatever you'd like to call them. All the ladies, and there are hundreds of them, are sitting out front. They even do a little, uh, I don't know what it is, a, a demonstration, I guess. I want to say 7 p.m. All the different businessmen walk down the middle of the street, and they're all Japanese, maybe Korean, I don't know. But personally, hi, how are you? Uh, a young lady just came up to me and she just politely asked me, please don't film the ladies. Yeah, she was very nice and all, just looking out for her, her ladies. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I try to treat everybody with respect. And uh, yeah, young ladies hanging out in front of their karaoke bar. They don't necessarily want to be on my YouTube channel. I get it. But it's a cool little area. Tons of Japanese options. There's a wood ball karaoke on the left. I know they have one right next to my favorite pub, O'Shea's, on 33 and a half. And there's one up in Tong La karaoke bar. And once again, I can't do much filming up the street so I'm going to continue on my way but off to the right you can see all the ladies lined up in front of the clubs different guys coming by and they're just uh, yelling for their attention some of these Japanese businessmen they are on crazy expense accounts it's nothing to head up and grab a couple of bottles of whiskey and hang out party all night and I'm probably at a safe enough distance just give you a quick peek I don't remember if I finished my story I want to say it's 7 p.m. they do this parade of businessmen in their suits and briefcases right down the middle of the street. All the young ladies are at uh, parade rest. Uh, again, trying to uh, just get you in and spend some cash. Here's the Don Don Donkey store. I know there's another one up by the MBK. It's pretty nice. Different things from Japan. I, I think everything in there is from Japan. There's also pre-made sushi rolls, that kind of thing. Right to the left of me is another set of stairs to get up to Salam Dang BTS, but we're going to continue down the way, and eventually we'll hit, I think the street is, is called Boys Town, where, again, it's kind of the gay part of town, and it's right a block away from the Papong Night Market, which is just that, uh, a big market area. It's, it's a really nice morning market. Somewhere on my channel, if you search Papong, on the toolbar on my channel, it'll come up. I know I was there at six in the morning, but at night it just turns into a crazy area. We'll throw this caution out there. If I were to walk down that Soitanea, most of the girls would just put their hand up over their face. Again, they don't want to be filmed. But if you do that near a ladyboy bar, stand by. You're you're probably gonna be attacked. They uh, they do not go for that. If you want to film them. You better ask permission and give them a nice tip. And here's a Chinese noodle place. Looks like he is uh, making the noodles fresh. Master Yang's Chinese noodle. Here's a hotel. And I've made my way up to Siloam 4, right here where the Silver Sand Siloam is. And this I'll call Boys Town, this street. So again, I'm gonna be careful with my filming. It's still very early. 
They're usually hanging out front, but they do different uh, burlesque shows. There's a club called Bipolar on the second floor. I'm going to go around the corner carefully. Yeah, it's all super quiet. It's whatever it is, not even 9 p.m. But come on, check out Salom, Salom Soy 4. And at midnight, even on a Monday night, this area will be crazy. Here's a sunrise taco right on the corner. Surprisingly, it's a pretty good Mexican food. There's going to be ch plenty of chances in this night market area to get those authentic $2 Ray-Ban glasses, $20 Rolex watches. And here it is. It's about the length of Cowboy, Soy Cowboy, if you're familiar. Plenty of different night market items, restaurants, but there are some uh, crazy little offshoots off the street and all kinds of uh, strip clubs. It's all kind of tame, though, if you want to check it out just as a tourist. There's nothing to be afraid of. Luggage stores, backpacks. Yeah, and I'm talking over that music. I'm assuming it's copyrighted. Here's the smoothie lady. I see 50 baht. I might grab a watermelon. There are some interesting little side soys off of this uh, Pat Pong area. This is looking off towards uh, Boys Town. And kind of right in the middle of all this craziness off to the right is a Foodland supermarket. Crystal Palace. All these Foodlands around town they're usually 24 hours. I'll check the hours on this one, but they have these little cafeterias. I know the one on Soy 5 is kind of famous for its 120 baht breakfast or something like that. There you go. We never close 366 days a year. I guess they're uh, counting leap years. Sorry to see this place closed up. The Paddy Field right next to the Foodland. It was a good little Irish bar. And again, I'm kind of in the alley here, uh, the Boys Town area. You see Dream Boy and Fresh Boy. There's all these different bars that are up on the second deck as well. All kinds of things. Get your elephant pants, get your watches. Hi. Mm -hmm. Get your Ferrari hats. Ooh, Mount Blanc pens. Once again, try to be super respectful with the filming. Don't even try to pull your camera out inside one of those clubs they've seen every trick in the book if you're like pretending to text as you're filming they're gonna get really upset uh, best case scenario they're gonna grab your phone away from you and erase it worst case they might smash it on the ground not that i'd expect a normal person to do that but i have been in establishments over the year where there's an issue with somebody trying to film i'm gonna zigzag over to the uh, boys town side yeah it's cool a lot of energy in this town off to the left is uh a busier area, different uh, people standing out front trying to get you to come into the bar, but yeah, I'm not going to point the camera that way. There's also some uh, pretty tough looking bouncers taking a look at me. Hey, that's cool. The pink, well, it's the pink, I was going to say Panther, or is it the pink Ranther? My buddy who owns the Casbah in San Diego, no, it's the pink Panther on the wall there. That was his first bar. If any old school San Diegans remember the pink Panther on Morena Boulevard, great little watering hole walked up to the opposite side of the Pat Pong Night Market, and this is shenanigans. It's just a normal Irish pub. In fact, it's the same owner as O'Shea's, the Royal Oak over in Pat Pong, and PJ O'Brien's up in the W District. I might actually duck in and uh, grab a plate of food. Plenty of tuk-tuks lined up to uh, bring the tourists in and take them out of this night market. Do your best negotiation skills with these guys. There's no meter. But they're a fun way to get around town, even if you overpay. Big deal. You pay 300 baht instead of uh, 180 baht, which a local might pay. Not that big a deal. And it's a fun way to get around town. Sometimes they'll give you an incredible deal. I, I have left, uh, ooh, as far as the Asia Teak area, that's clear across town in the uh, Chow Phraya River area. And I went from there all the way to Prom Pong one time. The guy just said, 100 baht. And I gave him 200 baht. I knew that was uh, kind of an incredible deal. I think he just needed that fare. And there's, what is it, the Eka Grill and Bar on the other side of uh, the night market area. There's shenanigans right at the top of this, uh, I'll call it a controlled chaos street. I love Bangkok. There is something for everybody. Yeah, this is a great little bar. I've been in here a couple of times. I think they have music starting at 9 every day of the week. I'm not positive it is a, a Monday, so it's a little bit slower, but that's fine. 
I'm gonna grab a quick meal. That's probably one of the fancier Burger Kings I've ever seen. So thank you so much for following along this run from the Salom MRT area over here to the Papong Night Market. Get out and check it out. There's much more to Bangkok than just hanging out on uh, Lower Sukhumvit. Sure, I live over in Sukhumvit. I love that area. But there's just so much more to this city to explore. So take it easy. Have a great evening. More videos to come. Consider subscribing if you have not. I'm out here... Uh, Having a little fun making these videos, so we'll see you later.